Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this class. As always, I just ask that you have your mat and a bolster if you'd like to sit on. Find a comfortable seat, elongate your spine, shoulders down and back, cross your legs, close the eyes, and let's begin. Always start by deepening the breath. Bring yourself to the present moment. Namaskar in front of the heart and let's begin the class with three ohms. Inhale deeply. closed, focusing on the area directly between the eyebrows and slightly above. As we hone in on our intention of activating the third eye chakra. Through this chakra, our intuition is activated. We begin to understand things on a deep level that we do not really understand where it comes from. We get information, but we don't know why, where we got it from. Sometimes we don't know why we're getting it either. The important thing to note though is this is the wisdom center of the body. Your intuition does not lead you astray is always guiding you towards the light, to see the light, to be the light, and to embody it. Your intuition is your greatest ally in life. And the third eye invites you to see visions, to see your life in truth, to see others in the light of love and to see yourself in the same way. The third eye teaches us to trust in a higher power, to know deeply that we are taken care of in everything we do, in every step we take. There is no wrong step. There is just more steps, more path. And the third eye also invites us to understand that you are the path path is you. There is no path outside of you. The journey of self-realization, of knowing who you truly are at the center of everything, is the journey you take, is the path you trot. It is not something outside of you. It is not your goals and hopes and dreams of the material world. It is the journey inwards that is ultimately the one we are taking. Focus on that area. Bring the hands in Namaskar up to the third eye. As we do this, this is the third eye mudra. As we do this, we chant Om. There is three aspects to the word Om. Oftentimes it's dissected as A-U-M. So bring your hands up, 
Let's chant. Inhale deeply, focusing on the third eye, gazing at it with your eyes. Oh. 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 Release the hands to the knees. Keep gazing at the third eye and keep chanting the mantra within your mind. bolster. Place it off to the side. And join me at the top of your mat. Tadasana. Starting with our sun salutations. Inhale. Arms reach. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Right leg back. Drop in. Inhale. Anjaniyasa. Shoulders down. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Inhale at the top of your mat. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale. 
Exhale to pelvis down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale. Right leg forward. Drop the knee. Anjaniyasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the toes. Step forward into fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath. Starting with the other leg. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, the knee down. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Shoulders down and back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step up into plank. Inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, exhale, the pelvis down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, hips up and back to downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, the knee down. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale, plant the hands. Step forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bring the hands to your third eye in Namaskar. Flow all the way down. Release the hands. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back in the plank. Inhale at the top of your plank. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Meeting me in downward facing dog. Take a breath. Pedal it out. to stillness. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, flow through. Drop the knee. Anjani Asana. Come up. Inhale, the arms up. Stay there. Take a breath. Exhale, open them up into cactus. Take a breath. Circle the arms down and around. Come up with your namaskar and place it at your third eye. Close the eyes if you feel comfortable. Take three breaths. Gaze at the third eye if you can. toes, step back, flow through your vinyasa, all the way to downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, bring it through. Drop the knee. Untuck the toe. Inhale, come up. Anjani Asana. Shoulders down and back. Stay there. Take a breath. Exhale the hands to cactus. Take a breath. Circle the arms down and around. Hand in Namaskar at the third eye. Take a breath. Two more. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back into plank. Inhale at the top of your plank. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. 
all the way to downward dog. Take a breath. Open up the knees. Come into child's pose. Keep the forehead on the mat and bring your arms at your side. Rest on your forehead. into your, your feet, downward facing dog. Walk to the top of your mat. Slowly rise up. Come into Tadasana. Inhale, bring the arms up. Stand through the back a little bit. Exhale, hands to Namaskar at the third eye. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands to Namaskar at the third eye. One more time. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands to Namaskar at the third eye. Take a breath. I'm going to face you for this next one, but stay where you are. As you inhale, you stay there. Exhale, open up. Inhale. Exhale. Gently extend the neck as you do it. If you're doing it right, you should be feeling a tingly sensation in your third eye. That's your third eye activating. forehead high up. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing the chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. your own pace. Come to stillness. Sit back onto your knees. Bringing your hands to your third eye. We're going to inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, come down. Inhale, extend, exhale, flexion. Inhale, exhale. While you're doing this, it helps if you gaze at the third eye with your eyes closed. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five more times at your own pace. Slowly come out, release, and just gaze forward for a moment. Taking your time, coming into a seat. Bringing your one foot, I'm going to fix you first. One foot into your groin, the other foot just in front, as we're going to forward fold. So you might notice one knee is higher, that's totally fine. That's just your body. So inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Allow your body to flex into this posture. Now you might be up here and that's okay. Just honor where you are and breathe. If you're feeling this in your hips, just allow yourself to breathe into those areas where you feel the most tension. Slowly come out of it, walk yourself up, and switch the direction of your feet. So your right foot comes in closer to your groin, and your left foot comes in front, unless you're on the opposite foot, then just do the opposite of what you're just doing. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Honor where your body's at, and breathe. Slowly rise up, walk yourself out, and come to your back, preparing for Shavasana. Bring your legs out long, slowly lower yourself down. Beautiful. Straighten out whatever you need to, adjust your body however you need to. Once you've arrived at your most comfortable spot, just relax, your shoulders, that neck, that jaw, that tongue, your eyes, your eyebrow, that third eye. Release it all into the mat. I want you to know that your yoga practice is a beautiful way of connecting to your intuition. You're teaching your body how to respond to your thoughts your actions, your energy. And your intuition guides you constantly. It's also the way you connect to your lineage, whether that be a teaching lineage or maybe it's a familial lineage. Either way, it connects you to where you come from, your ancestors. To give you an idea, this connects me to my Reiki lineage and my yoga lineage, and also my family, my maternal and my paternal lineage. It 
also can connect you to any type of racial lineage. And just breathe into your body and relax in Shavasana. Slowly begin to move and wake the body back up. Once you find your seat, sit nice and tall, shoulders down and back, hands in Namaskar in front of the heart. Close the eyes. Cultivate gratitude for your practice, your intuition, your higher power, yourself, and all of your lineage. so much for practicing with me. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Namaste